Oh no, beginner primer. Let's do it. That was my beginner shot. Was it pretty good? I liked it. I even scratched. Right, we're gonna talk about what do you do when you start playing pool? Okay, what's what's kind of important to think about? What's What should you work on? What should you look at? This isn't gonna be an all encompassing video. I'm just gonna hit you with the Hulk smash, I like to say, as my people say, uh, overall sort of, this is what we're gonna think about when we're building a pool game, and this is where we wanna start. So, there's a couple things, concepts, let's say. Solid, you gotta think about solid when you're playing pool. So, solid's gonna be your stance, solid's gonna be your bridge, okay? Solid's gonna be the way your stance and your bridge work together. I want those things to be solid. I wanna be solid when I'm down, back and forth. I don't wanna be up and down, I don't wanna be left and right. You saw I kinda of switched my stance to like a real knifed stance sideways like this. And what that does is it causes you to fall backwards, okay? And that's kind of a beginner thing. When I'm working with beginners, I'm always looking at their stance. And then of course, bridges. Nobody just rolls out of the rack learn, knowing bridges, so we work on bridges. So I wanna show you guys a little bit on that. On, but, but the idea behind it is solid, right? And overall, as you develop your game, your, your future self, let's say, will understand that this bridge is pretty solid and this is pretty loose behind here. So that's an overall concept for your future self. This bridge needs to be solid, tight, and uh, not stiff, but just solid. And this needs to be loose. And then this base needs to be solid. So that's, that's what we're trying to do is be solid and be straight, of course. And so we'll, that'll be kind of the stroking side of it. But let's, uh, let's start by looking at uh, stance, kind of setup, pre-shot routine uh, will lead to a stance and a setup. And then, um, and then we'll look at some bridges. So we've got a straight end shot and there's way more in-depth videos on this. And I know that because there's some members here that have been playing for a year, or six months and they have perfect fundamentals. So this is not the perfect fundamentals video. This is an introduction to the idea of wanting to have solid fundamentals in, in these areas. Okay. So let's talk about your stance. You can, there's a line here to the center of the pocket for the one. There's a line here from the cue ball to the one. You draw those lines in your mind's eye. We'll go maybe do that in aiming a little down the road. But for now, I got this line. And my cue is like this. It's not like this. It's not like this. My cue is straight down that line, OK? And I hold it like this, just in my hand. And I hold it like this. I don't, you know, because what's going to happen is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this line. And I'm going to step to the side and hold that line straight. And then I'm going to walk in and I'm going to put my foot under stacked underneath here to at least get a reference point. That might be too close. I can kind of feel it. Maybe it needs to be here. Okay. And then my, uh, so this, this, this foot stays here, kind of stacked under here and you'll see, and then this steps forward like this and see right now I'm already kind of in a hitting position. Now I see a lot of people do this and, and things like that. And we, what, the way I'm teaching and the way I look at it and the way I play and the way I see a lot of professionals play is to have a locked back leg, a locked back leg keeps you from going up and down when you're nervous. If you're down like this, when I see people, after about a few seconds, you're gonna start shaking anyways, unless you're like a CrossFit athlete, but that's gonna happen. And then when you're nervous, I think that this, there's some of that happening and that moves your tip up and down. So we, we're, we're thinking about solid, solid. Remember, I keep saying solid. So I'm trying to get solid. And then I've already moved my cue, but I've done this so many times. My cue still looks straight here. I'm still stacked. My front foot, it can be pointed forward, it can be pointed like this. There just needs to be a little pressure on your front leg with this being kind of back like this. Of course, if you have any back, neck issues, stand however you want, of course. I'm not recommending anything. I'm not a chiropractor or a doctor. I'm just saying this is, this is kind of optimal for me. This is what I teach. And if you can't do it physically, it's not a problem. But uh, if you can, then let's, move, let's work towards that. So overall, this is stacked. Essentially, there's better videos on it, but that's it. I come down like this and see now I'm at the, I come down and I fold, I folded down. Okay. I just came down and folded this kind of hinged back, this kind of hinged forward and I'm down and folded. I'm on the shot. And now with my cue at the cue ball, I'm hoping my back arms at a 90 degree angle right now. I don't know if it is. Is it Jonathan close? Close. Okay. 
And then my back, this direction, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be out like this. This is something that we need to work on with all players is getting this thing straight, okay? Vertical. So again, other videos for it, but these are the overall concepts. I want a good 90 and I want it straight and I want to be somewhat stacked. And I, because if I'm not stacked, okay, say I move this over here and I bend this like this. Now I'm falling. I'm literally falling backwards right now, okay? And now say I go snooker stance like this. This is fine. I mean, there's snooker players that play world-class pool that way, but I feel like it's gonna affect your power and, and uh, it's, it's, we're playing American pool here. <laughs> so so uh, I'm not a snooker instructor, so I'm just showing you the way I, uh, the way I think that I have seen it within American pool and pro players and, and uh, high amateur players. So, so if you were gonna make a mistake, I'd rather see you do the snooker stance like this, or whatever, you know, versus this. Like this, you're falling over. This, you're pretty solid. It just might have, it might limit your, your power, but that's not a huge deal, not a big nuance. I just wanna tell you, share with you, if a person is pitched, more square I'm, I'm i'm for that versus knifed knifed is uh it, it's a lot of movement it's a lot of boat rocking when you're trying to shoot so that's kind of the idea what i try to help people with let's get straight nancy shout out to nancy she used to go like this and then when she got down this thing was pointed at an angle the wrong angle right and so i had to talk to nancy because nancy's been playing for about six weeks she's playing awesome nancy's a crusher and i had to talk to her about coming across like this around and trying to keep this thing straight. And so some of this is in your periphery, your peripheral, peripheral. <laughs> you wanna see this line straight and you don't wanna lose this line in your peripheral. If you walk up to your cue and you come down, you should be able to see that things pointed out this way. Or if it's like this, if we're lazy and we just point out a direction, we wanna make sure that we walk into this cue, have it be straight, just like that. It can wiggle a little bit, but it's gotta be straight. And so now, I'm looking down my line, it's straight, it's straight, it's straight. I'm seeing this line connect. So now I'm ready to address, to come down, fold, be down on the shot, and then just hit it through. So that's, that's it on kind of like the approach and the setup. There's some nuance where you would go in your future self where you wanna step into your shot, okay? You wanna stay tall. You want to visualize your shot. You're going to see the line from the cue ball to the two, the two to the pocket, the ghost ball potentially. You know, I don't always put my cue down like this. As you advance, you might go like this and you just see that line in your mind's eye. You can just, I just see, I see it. I see a line. I just do. And I see, the, I see all three of these lines, the line from here to the cue ball, the cue ball to the two and the two to the thing. And I see those lines and I just walk on my line. I come down my line, I adjust because I've been playing for 35 years, I get down, I fold, I'm on the ball, and I'm ready to fire, okay? So that's about coming straight down the line, and that's about being solid. And eventually we talk about aiming and stroke. We're gonna wanna avoid that. So we wanna come down straight like this. We don't wanna be like this. We wanna pay attention to these details. So, so this, is, this is just something I wanna share with you guys. It's like you're not gonna be able to do it right away, but I want you guys to be able to watch us and give you some, some triggers or some things to think about with being solid and being straight and being down that line. And we gotta see these lines. We gotta see this line all the way back. We see that line. We step on our line down, forward, fold, shh, ready to shoot, couple, <laughs> foul. That's it, so that's, that's it. And I call it the dance, right? It takes time, you gotta learn the dance. You can't just, Start break dancing like Mike Pancake. Dude's got some sick, sick 80s moves. You have to do the dance. So you put this down, you step in, you don't go out, you keep your partner close. You step in forward, you make sure you're balanced side to side. You fold, just leg, okay, too close, do it again. Start back a little farther, step under, stack, step in, cat wiggle, down, fold. Money, one, two, three, okay? It's just easy, just do that if you've been playing pool for a day or a month. 
But that's the dance, and that's what I want to show you guys, is that dance. Okay, so we got down our pre-shot, we got our setup, we got our line, we're on that line, we fold, we got this leg, we got our balance, got our arm angles good, everything's perfect. <laughs> so let's talk about bridges, okay? Open-handed bridge. This is like the most basic beginner easy bridge to do. And there's like an extreme beginner bridge if it's uncomfortable or weird. And that is this, the, the hitchhiker, <laughs> okay? And so you could put down a fist bridge like this and it's, it's not good because this thing wants to move around, but this is probably better than this <laughs> or whatever a beginner bridge would be. So this I can accept. This is like a, a kid bridge sometimes, like a youth bridge or something just to get going, just so we can go straight and through and work on it. So this is the bridge that we want though, okay? This bridge here. And the, the reason why it's good is because I can just squeeze up to go high and still keep the butt of my cue level or I can go down a little bit to go low, and I don't want it like this, there's no reason to be here. It's usually just in this middle range, once in a while up a little higher, okay? So this just kind of goes like this to move the tip up and down on the cue ball a little bit, okay? There's also this bridge here too, if you're reaching out, there's, there's you know, whatever. Um, I don't like any of these folded finger things, it's just that sort of, you know, I've seen a bridge like this. It's like that thing wants to move this way. It's like we talked about solid, solid, solid. So this is as solid as we can get for a bridge. Now, shout out to Dave O'Keefe. I like to have my thumb forward a little bit. Dave's got his out like a hitchhiker. He's awesome. I love you, Dave. You keep hitchhiking, bro. You keep doing you. I, uh, you're an awesome dude and you play great and keep your, keep your thumb out. Keep, keep, keep rolling, whatever, trucker talk. Okay, here we go. So Dave's out there hitchhiking. I'm more like this. Nice flat bridge, okay? Underneath here, there's air and space. That's, if you wanna go from the side, there you go. Watch it squeeze down and squeeze up and squeeze down. That's how it goes. And everyone's gonna say that hurts, I don't like it, it's uncomfortable. And I'm gonna say, just do a little, do a little practice with it, get used to it. Cause we gotta be uncomfortable to get better. And there's a reason why you don't turn on this TV and see Allison Fisher holding her cue like this. <laughs> she has perfect fundamentals and let's just do what she does. Uh, and everyone else on the pro tour. So here's some bridges that I see that we're gonna fix. I see a closed bridge like this, okay? Like I've seen bridges like this. I've seen bridges like this. I've seen closed bridges. I've just seen so many closed bridges. I've seen a bridge like this, like this. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. This is the bridge we want. And what we do is we go here to here and here to here. And this you're gonna see is different than this. I like this. This I'm not a huge fan of. And the reason why is that light. You see that light in there? Now it's tight. Remember what I said earlier in the video? I said, this, this, is, our, this is our tension point in our, in, in, of our entire game. This is loose, <laughs> okay? So if you do loose with loose, you got problems. I was watching a 685 play pool and, and uh, we were playing one pocket and his bridge was like this. And I literally predicted when he would miss because it's just he was shooting a long shot that needed accuracy and, and tightening up is how you're gonna get that accuracy. And if you're nervous and you're playing, this happens and I could see it in his game. And so I said, I, I suggest you do this. And he was excited about that and he understood exactly. He goes, well, that feels solid. And yeah, it is. It's about being solid. We need to be solid when we're playing. So a couple things you can get as a beginner because this is a tough bridge. A couple things you can do, buy a glove, okay? When I was a kid, we didn't have these newfangled gloves, okay? So I had to sit there with a bar cue that felt like this when I'm 13 years old and I sat at home and I did this until I got comfortable. And so let's do that. Let's, let's go home with our shaft of our cue. Let's watch some Netflix, not us, but you know, you and your loved ones. And let's practice this. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do to get this comfortable. And if it's like this, 
just work it down, work it down and try to get to there. Cause this is too sloppy and this is too sloppy. And even this is too sloppy. And, and, and this is even too, this is weird and, you, and too low. You can't get the cue ball up high enough on that bridge. So there's all these reasons why I'm talking about these bridges and some of it's your future self and some of it's your just overall knowledge self for now. But like, you know, if I have my bridge down here like this, well, it's, it's look at it, it's tight, it's tight. I can't get the cue up high enough to hit follow. So then I got to do some weird bridge that's all awkward and wobbly and stuff. And it's like, no, there's reasons why professionals have the same bridge practically, almost every single one of them. And the reason why is because it's optimal. And so I'm trying to show you guys, this is what's optimal and it's uncomfortable and I get it, but just sit on your couch, watch Netflix and work on your bridge. That's it. So here we go, close bridge. This thumb needs to be touching here. This needs to come down like this. And then if you can, you want to fold it like that. I said this, I don't know. There are people that do this bridge here and I'm not going to go to war over it. That's fine. I, I just prefer this bridge. I think it's tighter, but you know, this is fine too. Cause you can just slide this little gizmo up to make it tighter. Right? So if you look, it's loose and it's tight. Okay. That does not feel very solid, but it's functional better than all the other junk I showed you. This is what I like here and here, and it meets on half this finger, half this thumb and a point, and then it's tucked and it's tight here. It's tight on this side. And it's tight on this side. It's tight up and down. It's good. I could walk around the pool room like this. Okay. That's nice and tight. So that's the closed bridge just like this. And then, it can be moved up a little bit or down a little bit. And then once in a while, I'll shoot like this over a ball, not over a ball, but like if I'm reaching out really far on the table versus getting the, the bridge bridge. Okay, this is the last bonus round information on rail bridges. When you're on the rail, just as a tip, put your cue to the rail like this, nice and level and flat and fit your hand around it. And the way I do it is I go like this, okay? Just the four up like this, thumb under, and I just, fold over like this. I just made a fall. See that? And the reason why is because the cues against here, the cues against here, this finger, this knuck, this uh, thumb knuckle, and then this holds it together straight. So I'm just in here nice and tight and straight. If I get, if I was out like this, it'd move around like this and back. There's all kinds of bridges I've seen. The other thing is we don't want to even go up like this. We don't want that up angle. We want to be as flat as we possibly can. If we had to draw the ball like here, we're still sort of flat on it. I notice I didn't go like this to draw the ball. So this is more advanced, but just in general, I'm talking to your future self a little bit beginners and maybe some intermediate people that fought through this is we, cause I see people that are way past intermediate with bad bridges on the rail. And so that's why I want to give a little bonus content. Just, just keep this thing level and fit your hand to it. If it's like here, here, fit my hand like this, see, and the cue, is still touching the rail. I want to guide it through and have the, I see it's not up like this because up like this moves, moves around like this when I get nervous, you know, and start shaking. This has a better chance to go straight if it's on the rail. And if I can do this and pinch it against the rail straight, now it's really solid. Okay, so we're talking solid, solid, solid. So that's a little bit of bonus on the rail stuff. And on the rail, everybody I watch, the amateurs is like, are like this and we need to get them down more level and we can get them down more level. They strike the ball more accurately. Your future self will love you for that. So just get in the habit of even as a beginner, putting the tape cue down and fitting your hand, hand to the rail a little bit. So there's some rail tips and that's about it. So we went over uh, some beginner stuff, some approach, some stance, some solid, this, this here, this, this is solid, right? This stays loose. So we went over all that solid bridges, solid stance, solid up, down, solid left, right, solid, everything. So we're trying to be solid, solid, solid. That's everything we're trying to do is be solid. Good at 90 arm angle, straight, not in like this, not out like that. Those are some more things you'll need to work on, but we want to be solid with good angles, very little movement, stay still and uh, have solid bridges. So I showed you the solid bridges too, and just solid, solid, solid. That's what we're trying to work on as beginners. And we hit easy shots, easy shots. 
Okay, Nancy, I'm talking to you again, my, my pal. Sometimes I have Nancy start with this shot because she's only been playing fool for a little while. And it doesn't matter. I want her to make the ball and I want her to have a good result with that. But it's also, I don't want her to scratch. I want her to hit other shots. So there's ways you can hit this shot and learn, learn a lot about pool because you still have to go through your whole dance, you know, the whole routine down, bend, go, don't scratch through. It doesn't have to be hard shots. It doesn't have to break the balls and shoot them around like, like uh, herding cats. Let's, uh, let's slow it down, let's make it simple, and let's build our game uh, in an intelligent way. We love you guys, like always, and I'm hoping you got something out of this and enjoyed it, and we will see you on the next one.